to battle, packmates, and welcome back to another episode of Star of the Command, where I pass plus my name, Captain Tarek of the Lake Cruiser Pouncers. We continue our campaign against the Hydra Star Kingdom, and I have just watched them automatically grab a tile here in 08, so clearly we are behind the 8 ball. Uh, we were not here in the last normal episode. We've been dealing with some things, and for the past several days, I haven't been able to talk, which, um, has been interesting. Well, I've been able to talk, but it comes out super raspy. To the point where a couple of my friends were joking, calling me uh, Godfather in Discord after the Generation Kill character, which was interesting. So, we are back, hopefully back on track. My voice has seemed to be fully, mostly recovered, although the nausea has not quite passed from the procedure that I underwent. Hopefully that will also pass some, uh, sometime soon, because uh, I'm hungry, but I also can't really eat. I'm complaining too much about my own life. How are you? How y'all doing out there? I hope we're having a relatively good time. We're going to pick up this campaign and see if we can't catch up to exactly where we're going namely these freighters, and we're going to turn them into dust. There is an armored freighter over here. Uh, normal freighter, normal freighter. Yeah, just three so far, so let's just kick the engines on even more. There we go. Phasic capacitor is fully charged, which gives us energy for more things. Unfortunately, we still have to put quite a bit of power into the expanding for generator. I think it takes 10 points of power at maximum draw, which is pretty hilarious. There's the amount of energy that that thing requires, but it does give pretty interesting results. Not the most fantastically amazing result ever, but decently good results. So, we are currently in a chase position, which I am not happy about, but our ESG is fully charged, so I can now really sap the power budget and start taking in to go as fast as possible, which is 26. Oh, that's that's not wonderful. Especially given our chase position, because they are flying directly away from us. Was that our ship? Uh, yes, this is the escort of some description. He's going to try and come out here and meet us. So, I don't want to send a probe because I don't have the power for it. Like, if I send the probe, I will lose speed. Are you also? No, you're armored freighter in formation. So it does look, however, we do have a Q-ship moving in. Wait, are you? Yeah, single Q-ship, and it's you. I'm going to anticipate and hope that the only thing you have going for you is a pair of missile rack A's and two phase threes, but uh, I'm not sure about that. Pirate designations tend to get a little bit squirrely. It's PT-4. Is that just four phaser threes? I hope so. I don't want to actually have to get into an actual running gun battle with you if you've got plasma torpedoes. I don't have the power availability to dump a probe on you because it would take a point of power to charge that and that would sacrifice two points of speed. We're already in a stern pursuit, which is not great. He's already begun to engage. All right, let's get ready to turn hard should we need to. ESG is selected and ready to rock. Minimum range value. We want to be able to hit him as hard as we possibly can. We have two of the things. So hopefully that'll be enough. I don't want to turn on... Oh. Good job. All weapons elsewise select. So yeah, he is pathetic. He's got two phase of twos and two phase of threes. We're gonna just smash right on into a follow-up with an immediate barrage, and that'll take care of him. Wonderful. So that's the escort. Now let's just sprint ahead to the front of the column. Uh tch, we don't have much power for much, do we, on this boat? Uh it's a nice ship. I do like it. I especially like the fact that the shields are so hilariously buffed that we've had trouble looking for heavy cruisers that'll have better forward shielding right now. But with that said, there can be some problems with the ship, mainly with power generation. It's not as badly overgunned as a lot of Federation designs, but it has some problems in that, in that sphere of it. Alright, so we're not charging the disruptors right now because we've got to charge everything else. Uh, currently not taking any power from that either. Now, are you going to charge the the ESG or the disruptors? You're going for the disruptors. Wonderful. That's what I would prefer. Mainly because I don't really need the ESG. I mean, kind of would be helpful, but... Let's also get ready to start bombing people. Yeah, that's why you're so far behind, because you guys are moving at a speed of 10. Uh, we're just going to make a one-pass haul butt to get up front to the forward people, because we really need to catch up to them. I was really hoping you'd have fewer people than six, and because of that, I'm actually a little bit worried. Uh, all up and select, deselect the ESG. I should really set that up as weapon group four. And point blank range shot. Maybe we'll see what we can generate here. Oh, that did it. Perfect. That's the first of the freighters. We need to take out a couple more. And at least two more in order for the mission to be considered a success. But we are going to actually hope that we manage to nail all of them. Only two people on board here. So a phaser pass. Beam over the Marines. We beam over four at a time. No problem there. Uh, we'll probably do both of these guys. Not going to be able to do it in one pass. Won't have the transporters. Won't have the weapon availability in order to do that. But hopefully we'll be able to get something rolling. Ah, oh, this ESG. There's a reason I go into Mullers, because I hate ESGs. <laughs> I don't hate them. They're, they're an interesting weapon. But I don't like having to get that close. 
It's one of the things that whenever I play Hydrants, I prefer the Hellbore armed ones because I don't want to get that close because I've got too many bad experiences with plasma torpedoes. You just run into a situation where suddenly it's like, oh, here's plasma torpedoes, six to the face, die. And it's like, I never want to be that close to an enemy ship ever again. So we are now almost up to speed, almost up to the front of the column. Uh, how much distance do we currently have? Uh, still don't see the edge of the map just yet, that's good. And Phaser handled that no problem at all, unfortunately. That then set back to charging. Oh no, Phaser! Thank you. That was a scatter pack, that would have been bad, but you did save yourself from being destroyed and opened up, so I'm gonna slow way down. This will give us a lot of speed, well, a lot of power, actually, to shove into the forward shield. All weapons. Nothing in the ESG yet. That'll change shortly. And one up speed, just so we catch up. And disruptors! Oh, I do take damage from here. Aha, uh -huh, you're not gonna get past me with my reflexes. My arthritic, incredibly slow reflexes right now. I am s no, not going to complain. Life is continuing, so we will continue along with it. So, he's gonna be captured. This guy is open to being captured. We just need to wait for the transporters to recycle once again. And slowly keeping the phaser fire. I may kill him before I actually get the weapon, the uh, transporters up. Forward shield is down. Not happy with that. You're hurting me now. Stop that, Prime Trader. I don't want to deal with you. Hurt myself just a little bit to do that. Hanging on just fine. And... Marines, you're done. Alright, we're done with both of you. I can now turn off to the next of the heavy armed freighters. Hopefully my forward shield will be replaced by then. If not, uh, an interesting set of circumstances will arise. Ah, uh, Marines. We're gonna have to restock on all these Marines. Or we could, hopefully, cross your fingers, get a really nice ship this episode. We've got a pretty decent amount of cash. I didn't read out the cash amount because we rushed off onto this mission to try and push the push the Hydrants back a bit. But I do assume that we have a nice amount of cash waiting for us when we get home. So that's the first one. The second one will die soon as well. Because apparently they decided that capturing freighters wasn't really something you'd do in this game. I find it to be very weird. Although that probably has something to do with in-game logic. Uh, weapon group four, please. We're gonna see what we can actually do to cut him to ribbons. It might actually work. Oh, you opened up my forward shield. I don't like you. And beam over marines. Okay, so we got the fast ones done. Now we can come around to the next sort of fast one, but he's not super fast. No, we're gonna focus on this one. He's armor freighter. You have two people on board, but you have no armor. And you do. And that's sort of the theme that we're going with here. Not theme, but tactical concept, maybe? Uh, basically, these guys are hard to kill. Not insanely hard to kill, but they're tough. They have a decent amount of armor on them. They have not an amazing amount of shields, but enough shields to cause it to, you've got to invest a certain amount of firepower into them. And because of that, uh, it takes a little bit more effort to kill them and actually shoot them down. There we go, all marines. Now the real joke would be if he then beamed his marines on board to my ship, and then he would be able to capture my ship. It's a good thing the AI doesn't know how to do that. Whereas this guy, he's got no armor. He's got barely any internal structure. He's only got a single phaser three. Long range fire might even be able to knock him out. How close do we get to the board edge? I uh, still can't see it. That's pretty good. Just double check to make sure that I've got you. Yeah, you're about to explode at any moment now. As they'll finish taking the bridge and all will be great. Which just leaves you, my friend. Everybody else has a time bomb set. Yep, there he goes. Now just you. They've all got their time bomb set. And now we just need to wipe out the last one who I don't have enough people in order to time bomb. So disruptors, uh, we'll get to a range of five and then we'll open up with phasers too. Make it just a little bit more difficult for him to hurt me. Didn't punch through, but that did. Didn't manage to actually affect his uh, speed at all, which I'm a little bit disappointed with. Let's uh, slowly just pull up into a parking position just behind him. And we'll just continue to blast away. Do you have any power into the forward shield? No, is the ESG seriously sapping everything? No, the ESG isn't even being used. Uh, just gotta wait then. Or as we cruise on right behind him. You may as well surrender, I mean... You're not going to get away, you know that, right? Maybe if I just fire shots across his bow? Alright, let's actually make this count. Get ready, all weapons select. We'll go for the full critical. There we go, that's the convoy. Minimal damage, but then again, the convoy didn't have any real protection. I mean, their protection was four phasers. Two of them were phaser threes, two were phaser fours. Or, not even phaser fours. That would be scary. Two phaser fours and a freighter. Holy crap. I want to make that design. See what I'd have to do with it. Uh, we made... F uh, 608 prestige. Had to do a little bit of mental math quickly. Uh, 3,566 prestige. That's a pretty decent amount of prestige. I kind of want to buy a brand new spaceship with it. And there's no mission here, so nothing to stop me from rushing back home. Ship around high. I've got 3,500. 
Could you give me something cool? Is there anything interesting? Yes, there's the one mauler. I don't quite want it. I don't know why I don't quite... Well, I, I know I... This is why. Because <laughs> this is a single tooth lion. And this will be the ship that we want. It's not really a dreadnought. At least not in the way that I would classify a dreadnought. It kind of is. But I have problems with calling it a dreadnought. Because its shielding is not amazing. <laughs> And it has a hilariously large weapon system. Do I just keep saving? I mean, I'm 800 away from it. And I can only get about 400 right now. In terms of... In terms of this cash. Because selling that thing in. Alright, give me back up to a decent number of marines. Uh, we want 24 at least. So that we can do that whole capture thing again. Uh, down a little bit. Uh, we're going to spare parts. We're going to shuttles. 132 spent on that. It's cash that we've got to spend. But if we want to be victorious, we must spend it. And eventually we will get our single tooth. We're going to jump right from a light cruiser into a single tooth dreadnought. That'll be interesting. But I'm looking forward to it. Because I really like the Maulers. And the bigger the Mauler in general means the bigger the battery. And the bigger the battery means the more punch that the Mauler gives you. Which is awesome. And so I'm really, really looking forward to that. Alrighty, so we are currently on patrol. Enemies include a monster, a sun glider. How big of a sun glider? Uh, you are a sun glider medium. Sun glider, of course, means the phaser monster. He will also have shields. And a CVS-2, the pit, I'm going to guess, that one wouldn't be pit fiend, would it? No, that'd be two on the nose. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We bring escort today by the Soul Taker, which appears to be a pretty decently armed, uh, heavy frigate, maybe? Not I don't want to call it a destroyer. It does have two ESGs, but it's only got, or maybe I'm comparing it too much to me. We're, we're like a light cruiser, heavy war destroyer type thing. And then we've also got the Pain Giver, who is Orion's with plasma torpedoes. And an OCVL has just shown up just to make our day worse. Because they know how much we hate fighting fighters with the hydrants, which is a little bit of an odd thing there. Because you think, oh, ESG is big bubble shield defense thing that you smash people with. Wouldn't you love fighting fighters? Maybe if I had four ESGs, I might feel a little bit safer about it. But uh, not so much. Not a huge fan of it. And is this another one? Oh, it's four on one. Holy crap. Or four on three. That's interesting. I don't think we've ever quite had this version of the mission. All right, how much power do I have to spare? Ten points of energy. I'm zapping that. I need speed. I feel the need, the need for speed, and also a probe. Because you're a carrier. Of course you are. Of course. Oh, wow. You are terrifying. Uh, shuttle conversion. Give me a willed weasel. And we're pulling the heck out of here. Give me some speed. Give me some power. And we are gone, my friends. Well, we're not leaving the battle, but we're not engaging him direct on. I mean, he's got two plasma Fs, two plasma Ds. Oh, no. One plasma D, one plasma S. I thought I had two S's, but no. One of the S's is a D. Still, that's quite a bit of firepower. He's got 40 in the F's and then another 30 from the S's. He's got 70 damage from plasma alone. That's a bad day waiting to happen. And he's also got fighters, which is the worst day waiting to happen. The Pit of Knives. That's interesting. Uh, set this range down. Oh, no, you are coming for me, aren't you? Gosh darn it, I gotta focus on you. So, ESGs, kick him on. And focus all weapons on you. All right, so we got a pretty decent shot and completely wiped out one group. And I'm really desperately hoping those are not coming to my address. They are not. They're hitting the fighters that came from afar. Uh, I don't know if that is friend or... No, that's friend. That's That was the wild weasel. Oh, awesome. So our friendly fighters have wiped out their fighters. We're in a nice position with that one. And give me him. Do I want him or do I want... You're an ally. You're the pain, the pain giver. You have the fighters and you're the CVLR. Which does not have fighters? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So let's focus the sun glider down. We gotta knock him out soon. Get the disruptors blasted away. They're not doing anything just sitting there. We don't get any power back for having them in that position, so we may as well go blast it away as much as we can. You're coming out of close. You've got an open shield, but I don't have good angle on that. Three, anything power in the ESG? Not ready to even shoot yet. Let's get more firepower into that. And not working out for me. Okay. Target you. Do I got anything in the phaser banks? Not on that side, but I do have a fighter right in front of me, which I am gonna focus on. Come on. I need more ESG. No, not ESG power, but more phaser power. Come on, capacitor. Give you at least one more shot. Let me shoot him down before he can get away. I don't have a weapon on that side. Crap. Uh, three. ESG. Two. Kick that sucker on. Make him bounce on me. Oh, phaser force. All right. We managed to hit him. Managed to weaken his shield. I haven't really done much to him because we're not on a good side to do it. But playing this close to a sun glider is always going to be dangerous. I'd like to hit this broadsider, broadsword and knock him out completely. We already took out the fighters from the other one. Drop a mine. Yeah, crap. So we took out another one. Don't have a great position on it. 
Come on, another phaser shot? Nope, disruptor. Can I get you an arc for it? Got him. Okay, so that's another group of fighters now. We've taken out three groups of fighters. Doing relatively well there. Fighters, of course, always more dangerous than their parent ships. Not true at all, but in a lot of circumstances, it can be. Uh, don't, not in a good position to drop a mine. He's pulled directly away from him and get some distance while our shield is down. As long as we can keep away from his port side, we should be able to avoid those two phasers. Coming in over here. You're pretty de badly dented, and I can probably take advantage of that. Looks like the, uh, oh, you're also an, oh no, you're, the pain giver is my friend, and you're my enemy. Crap! Uh, fighting with pirates can be fun. A uh, couple of blasts there. Not a single hit. I'm kind of surprised from that range. I was expecting at least one. Get some phasers on him there. How's my ESG? Charged up, ready to rock. A little bit. So we have a completely open starboard side, which I'm not happy about. Will I be able to cover that? No, I went right in on him. Okay, we've got to get this guy off me. There goes the pain giver, was it? Yeah, the pain giver is dead. We're in trouble. Uh, dump a mine, get some speed. So we are going fast enough to avoid this in its entirety. And yep, that'll be able to knock out the mines right there. Crash through our own mine. Uh, you're alive, you're enemy and alive. I need to get on repairs, patch this, and I want the phase threes back. I'm not so concerned about the ESG. I'm completely honest. Kick it on, a little bit of energy. Not gonna be able to do much with it. Hopefully I don't hurt myself too badly with it. Oh good, it didn't kill him, it just weakened him. Up, oh, more fighters, enemy fighters. Keep away from enemy fighters. Oh, we need to get our Marines in action. He's almost dead, he might not be worth it. I can't beam onto him anymore. In previous versions of the game, you could beam onto monsters and that would instantly kill them. It was hilarious. Let no one ever tell you otherwise. It's one of the things that I'm kind of regretful that they took out of the game because it made dealing with monsters super, super simple. Can I please keep you out of my front arc? Please stay on this shield side. Let me abuse... There we go. Okay, so we took out another group of fighters. I think that's all the fighters. I think we managed to kill them all. Not positive, but I think we got them. Uh, I need to get over to the pain giver to give him some support. Pit of knives... I'm going to deal with a single pass with you with phasers, and if that doesn't kill you, I'll probably dump some marines on board. Because he's at 7, which isn't super grabbable yet. Oh god, plasma torpedoes, please. It didn't. I was really hoping that you had something. And ESG to see if that'll wipe him out. We have minimum shielding on all sides, but not great. And phasers didn't come online in time. Crap. Pass too close to him, and I don't have any stern firing mounts on that. Is it just us? It's just us. Mine, pull away, we're gone. He's got way bigger faces than I do. Oh, you're just gonna plow the mine. That's that's not cool. I need more speed. Um, a lot more speed. Patch the engine. That's why we need more speed. Show me the Oh Gatling phasers. Of course the Gatling phasers. How long until that mine's ready to go? Because I need more power. More power, more speed. Another mine. Alright, we're just gonna run. We are out of here. Raise shields and nothing else. I just want to be out of here from this nightmare. Let me escape. Uh, this ought to be interesting because he's he's just cruising. And that's a problem. Because as long as he can hem me in. He's like a sheepdog in more than ways than one. Because you know, one, he's an animal. He's not like technically a sentient being, I don't think. I could be wrong. Are the monsters sentient? I don't think they are. And as long as he can keep hurting me around because he moves at a speed of 25, we're going to have a bad time. He's doing 17.2, which means he's badly damaged. Oh, we're so close to being able to kill you. That's frustrating. Having to pull away from this battle, we just wanted to make a little bit of extra cash is all. Uh, we are, however, pulling away from you, but you are definitely gaining on me. And my shields are able to hold for at least a little while against him. More power, please. I need to go faster than 25. He can't go p faster than 25. But if I can't make it up to that speed, that doesn't matter. Oh, stop hitting me. Ooh, that phaser four. Lucky that didn't touch me at all. I am starting to outstrip you, so I'm going to turn more, set my stern to you, dump another mine. We're going to burn through our consumables today. We need to, desperately. Just keep him out on the edge. Come on, just need a little bit more, and I will get up to 25. And 23. 23.88. Okay, not quite. A little bit more. Show me 22 on the power, and that should be able to actually get me at full speed. 24. 24. 25. Okay, we're pulling away now. As long as he can't hit me. Keep patching the engine. He hit me. Eh, of course he cut down the stern shield. I need that stern shield, please. Guys, just... Can we, like, shunt all the power to the aft shield? 
No, no, that doesn't work that way. Oh, too bad. More power. Just more power. We're going to get to a maximum speed of 31. I'm surprised we got out of it. I was expecting the uh, the last Gatling phaser pass that he banned on us, I thought had crippled us, but it hadn't. We actually are going to manage to escape. Cheap less in the wallet, which is not great because we're trying to save up another about a thousand at this point after repairs. Stop hitting me. That's not nice. Didn't they ever try and house train you? He's also shoving a ton of power to his attack shift, which is interesting. Um, almost off. Oh, thank goodness. We are going to survive. Victory and life will be held. Well, not victory, but life. Life and survival definitely is worth something. Whew. I was really surprised we actually managed to get away from that one. We still aren't technically gone yet. He still has a phaser 4. It could cause catastrophic damage and blow up the whole ship. Don't think that'll happen, but... It, well, maybe not. Maybe he just can't deal enough damage to cause that. Oh, as we sail our trimaran out of here, chased away by the monsters from the deep and the pirates and the one pirate way back there who is, unfortunately, not going to be destroyed. Hey, we did actually shoot down all the uh, fighters that we were looking to, though. Every single fighter we shot down. So that's good. That's probably one of the reasons why we got away. If they still had fighters, we'd be dead. Because we just would not be able to get away from them. Oh, it wasn't going at maximum speed. Probably should have been. Alrighty, so um, we survived, which is worth survival, I guess. Probably in a whole lot of prestige, though, I wouldn't wouldn't imagine. Oh, well, they gave me a bonus 100, but then took away 75, so we made plus 25 minus expenses, which is going to be pretty considerable. Hi, Shipyard, I'm back. Yeah, I know. I don't have the cash that I wanted for the really cool ship. Well, there's a DNLP. If we wanted to get into light dreadnoughts, if for at some reason we took leave of our senses. I think that's what it is. Desert Lion? Yeah, light dreadnought. I don't see the point. I just don't see the point of light dreadnoughts. They don't make sense to me. Well, I suppose there's long-range heavy cruisers, but even still, that seems weird to me. Uh, NBT, what are you packing? Okay. Um. Eight Disruptor 3s. Four ESGs, eight Phaser 1s. This is a pretty interesting ship. Huh. And it uses, apparently, the Lear in Advance design. That's... That's an interesting concept I had not considered. To make use of a full disruptor boat. Is that worth taking? Sure, why not? Now the reason why I'm saying that is because we've done the uh, the Mauler thing before. And part of this is trying to do new and interesting things. So we have switched over to an NBT, the Burning Claw. We don't know its actual name because uh, it suffered a... Oh, it's a tender. Interesting. I like that. I wonder what kind of big tenders I can get. I can get a PF... Ooh, PFP is more expensive. Does that mean it's better? I don't know. I need to find a list of Lyran tenders to see what they all do. We'll pick the most expensive ones. If you know what these tenders do, let me know, because that would be cool to know. I will say no three more times at some point. Uh, we'll give ourselves some more spare parts, just in case we break things, because that happens. But we've upgraded to a new heavy cruiser, which is pretty interesting. And in fact, I'm going to go back to the shipyard for just a second. Uh, heavy cruisers, and we're going to see if I can find that MBT and figure out exactly what it is we're supposed to do with it. I have a decent idea, but not perfect. So MBT, 40 forward shield, 32. I think we're weaker on the forward port and starboard shields, but I think the forward shield is better. Uh, transporters, four again. Two tractors, two shuttles, two fighters. So we're much more built along a plinking design with uh, eight disruptor threes. That'll give us a lot of long-range firepower. Yeah, they're only disruptors, but hey, this is more long-range firepower than we've ever had. And four ESGs should help out a little bit more with point defense. So yeah, we're definitely going to give that a shot, see what we can pull out with it. Uh, do I want more Marines? I kind of do. Just because I want more Marines. So that's actually going to do it for today's episode. So we've upgraded in ship, but we don't quite know how it's going to react. And we're going to have to wait until the next time to see how that goes. Anyway, I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see the notification channels for these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.